Creating a basic style in Microsoft Word is a straightforward operation. Styles are very useful as they provide consistency of formatting. Someone said styles are to formatting what a recipe is to cooking, and it's a pretty good way to describe the idea. If you follow the recipe, it's hard to go wrong. We could start with uh, any document open, even a blank, though we usually create a style to format text in an existing document like this one. We'll create a paragraph style as they're more frequently used. The simplest way to create a style is to start by going to the Home tab in the ribbon and then to the Styles group and clicking the drop down on the right side of the style list here. And then down at the bottom clicking on Create a Style here at the end of the drop down. Then in there we click Modify, the Modify button at the bottom to arrive in the dialog box which gives us the full set of tools. The name of the style should give us some idea of what it'll be used for. Title, subtitle, handwritten note, or whatever else. Many authors have used different styles to tell the reader who's writing the text, so we can add a name. Uh, even something as simple as demo is fine. And choose paragraph from the style type. Uh, the other kinds work similarly, so the idea is consistent. We then go to the formatting tools here in the middle, which work exactly the same in the ribbon because they are the same. All that's different is the writing down of the formatting details to use in more than one place consistently. We can select a font. For demonstration, I'll use Britannic Bold. We can see the difference easily there. Uh, then we could go to a different size, bring it up a couple points, say 14 points. And then, again, just to make it stand out for understanding for demonstration, we can click the drop down for color, go with, let's say, shade of blue. And as we do all this, the preview area is showing us exactly what we're going to get. When we finish with the formatting part, we can look down here, see if we want to add this to the styles gallery. Do we want this style to be used elsewhere? Uh, these things are usually determined by our normal everyday requirements, so we won't worry about them here. And we finally click OK at the bottom. Because we created a paragraph style, the paragraph we're in changed accordingly. It was automatically applied. If we click in another paragraph and select the style we built from our list, which can now be found up here in the style dropdown, we can see that that paragraph changes too. But the sweet part of the story is that if we modify the style, and it's easily done, we just right click the style here and click on modify in the pop up menu. Any change we make, we'll see that the style changes every place where it's used. So here, if I change the font, say, to uh, Times New Roman again, or Arial, if I change the size, once again, make it bigger or smaller, change the color, say, to a shade of green, and then click OK, the two places where I use the style change instantly to match. And that's the best thing. Essentially, 100% consistent formatting throughout the document. Many professional writers take advantage of this simple and effective technique. It's a time saver, a work saver, and an easy way to have one less major problem with writing anything in Microsoft Word.